The most productive people are those who enjoy what they are doing. And what better way to enjoy working in Blender than gamifying it? To remove the hard work, the hard processes, and switching them out with easy and more fun tools, like the viewfinder tool. I first saw this tool in Unreal Engine. When you are working on anything, you can work in the viewport as normal, but there is always a camera view in the bottom corner. This makes it easy to frame your composition while you're previewing the whole scene through the camera. I'm glad I'm not the only one who found this feature amazing because Blender Boy just introduced it to Blender. Now, all you have to do is select the active camera, have it in the side corner, and just go away posing your character as you want, making your scene the way you want, but you will always have the final camera view in the bottom corner, making it easy for you to focus on the important things and understanding how your actions or your scene is going to be framed in the final output. Like I said, gamifying Blender is about making hard processes easier and fun. This Burger Grove add-on brings back fun in 3D landscaping while still giving you a lot of artistic control. With Burger Grove, just draw the areas you want covered with grass and it will add the grass, vegetation and any type of plants you want in that area. You can still edit the areas or change the types of plants you want after you create the area. It's great for creating walkways decorating landscapes and more. The library comes with hundreds of high quality plants and vegetation for your scattering. With this add-on you can literally turn Blender into a game. If you are animating a character walking, instead of animating the character, why not play them like a video game? With this add-on, you can control cars, people and other objects with keyboard controls, make them move around while recording the keyframes, saving you a lot of hours. The Sims game has nothing on Blender because everything can be done in Blender with more detail and less effort. Like this bugger street add-on, it comes with hundreds of assets and tools to make adding street details a breeze. You can easily scatter objects with the array tool, distribute or draw instances with their curve tool and all the objects come fully textured and ready to use. Let me challenge you to something impossible to do or time consuming to do in Blender. If you have a character in Blender, try to switch out their animations like you would in a game. The challenge is impossible, right? Well, this action commander does it like a game. You can list all your character's actions in the add-on and switch between them by just clicking through the list. The add-on will change the animation and also set the right length of your timeline to match the animation. This also helps you import Mixamo animations and easily switch between them, saving you a ton of time. It does not get any better than this. Go from keyframe based animation to gamepad or keyboard based animation. You can literally drive the cars and even add enemy agents that can be aggressive like the GTA police or bad guys chasing you. The cars can collide and navigate different environments. You are basically pretending to work, but we all know you're just having fun with the RBC physics based add-on. Most games use smoke elements to make scenes look more alive and active. This atmospheric add-on has hundreds of smoke assets to give you the cyberpunk feel or dystopia city with simple drag and drop assets which can help add depth to your scenes. We can't talk about gamifying Blender without talking about forestation. It's an easy way of adding high quality 3D scan trees into Blender. You can set the resolution to be high or low to get you the best looking environment while keeping your scenes light and easier to render. Automate the tedious mundane tasks like UV unwrapping while maintaining artistic control using Zen UV. This tool brings you a set of new tools to Blender that lets you refine and rejuvenate your UV mapping and texturing experience. The add-on comes with different algorithms for relaxing UVs to get rid of texture stretching, orientation tools to change and check the direction of UVs, and more. Gamify Blender Scattering with the Physics Placer add-on. You can grab a bunch of objects and throw them around. They will fully interact and collide with each other. The add-on uses physics simulation to make sure that your objects are scattered accurately based on correct physics, removing chances of objects going through each other. If you love character designing in games, you are going to love character design in Blender. This fashion design add-on speeds up the material creation for clothes inside Blender, but most importantly, 
it gamifies the process. You don't have to work with complicated shaders. All you have to do is move around sliders and preview the results in real time like you would in actual games. Thinking of making a large forest, think alpha trees. Alpha trees uses a trick as old as time when it comes to scattering large dense forests. The trick of textures on a plane that face the camera at all times. A lot of games still use this trick, especially for trees and objects in the far distance. Games switch out all high detail, high poly count assets for textures on a plane with the object as the texture to speed up rendering and increase frame rates. So it's not surprising that something like that is useful in Blender as well. The only difference between PBG2 or Procedure Building Generator 2 and playing the Sims game is that PBG2 makes buildings that look good and, and is much faster. Though I must admit, The Sims gives you a better gaming experience than PBG2. But let's not forget, with Blender and PBG2, you are not playing games, you are actually being productive. Though it's understandable if you get carried away making buildings and turning them into a city because the add-on makes it so easy. The Sanctus library is a great library, but the only problem you will have with it is that you will never need to create any materials yourself, which I guess is a nice problem to have because this library has everything you can think of. Again, the main point of gamifying Blender is to make it feel like a game and never like work. It would not be gamifying if you have to animate crowds by hand. That's why it's nice to have the population crowd simulation add-on as a level up tool in your arsenal to easily populate your cities and scenes. Yes, those were some of the tools that you can use to speed up your Blender workflow or simply gamifying it to make it more fun and easier to work. If you're an add-on developer or if you know of a tool or add-on that can be very useful to how we work in Blender, just let me know in the description. I will make sure to feature it in the, on the channel so other people can find it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.